the Carpathian Mountains. For thousands of years, man and nature were partners. Diversity was their product. Life was centered on nature. Nature was the foundation for life. In the 20th century, the landscape began to change. Only in the mountains, traditions were kept and nature flourished. In 1989, the Iron Curtain fell. The doors were opened to the world. The new markets brought a new set of threats against nature. The mountains became dissected by road and ski runs. More and more farmers gave up, sold or just abandoned their farms. Village doctors left to be nurses on weekend shifts in London's hospitals. Even bears turned to city garbage for their food. Children began to know nature only through the windows of their parents' SUVs. The impact of climate change began to be felt. The inconvenient truth made climate change a reality. A global awareness had begun that future economies will be built on striving for a zero carbon society. Clean technologies became the new boom economy. Steadily, a few began to see the opportunities of a new economic future in the Carpathians. Innovation was the key for survival. An energy company in the Czech Republic links with food companies to create new ventures for sustainable transport. A buffalo farm in Romania is open to protect hay meadows and create new jobs for local shepherds. A Hungarian plastics firm expands its business and creates a new geothermal power company. But the old ways fought back. Government budgets for nature conservation were cut. Multinationals were given exclusive rights to local resources. Plans were made to eliminate the bears from the forests. Regulations were made for intensive chemical-based farming. Political parties tied to the past call for nuclear power in the shadow of Chernobyl. The tipping point is reached. A movement has begun. Local communities, governments and companies began to make sustainability inevitable. The Carpathian Convention inspires the Carpathian opportunity in 2008. Entrepreneurs began to seize upon the conservation-based economy in the Carpathians. A frenzy of cooperation and research became the driver for the new economy. The Carpathians became the number one destination for health and relaxation. Local mayors turned away from the risks of mining to the security of wellness tourism services. The rich supply of healthy local food in the Carpathians attracted new markets throughout Europe. In 2015, the Carpathian Ministers for Conservation Economy announced that the Carpathians is a tax-free zone for green business. The Union of Green Business Employees, started in Serbia, is the biggest member organisation in Europe. In 2020, the University of Transylvania invents the processing method for fuel transformed from cellulose. Five years later in Poland, aircrafts are also running on that new fuel. In 2032, the first Nobel Prize for a Sustainable Future is created and awarded to a Slovakian mayor who led a movement of energy independent communities. In 2050, a part-time Ukrainian shepherd manages the largest online shoe shop in Tokyo while tending his flock. The Carpathians become a role model for the future, admired, studied, and replicated by the other nations. The Carpathians become the new natural capital of Europe. More jobs, more business, more nature. Diversity becomes the new prosperity. Future is the new business. <laughs>